Pantry and today I'm going to bring you along for another chalk painting project. This is a, uh, a side table. I had it at the old house and it's it was tall enough to go next to the tall bed that it was next to. So and it's it's black. They've you know it's just it's an inexpensive. It was less than a hundred dollars, but it's solid wood and I want to make sure that I use this. I don't want to go buy new, so I'm going to chalk paint it. I've taken the hardware off and I've got the drawers out and um, I'm going to do this linen because it's going in my bedroom as a table for storage and it will add to the furniture that's in there. And then I'm hoping to buy a pretty mirror to go above it um, and it's kind of as you walk around the corner. So that being said, I know a lot of you asked for how I distress this. So I'm gonna fast forward through the painting process, but I'll bring you back so you can see how I distress. Some people distress it while the paint is wet. I don't particularly care for that look. Um, it's just not my style. So mine's a little messier, but it comes out beautiful and you're in control of how much or how little you distress. So I hope it inspires you to stay with me. And guys, don't forget to check the links below. I'll leave a link to Amy Howard's chalk paint. That's what I'm using today. And I'm going to be doing this the linen color, just like I did the living room furniture that I repainted. And then the next on the list is going to be a bookshelf. So if you guys put in your opinion on what color I should do that bookshelf, it'll be a big surprise on the popular vote. So uh, I, I'm going to do the drawers up here on the counter and I get these little supports to get them up off the ground so you have plenty of room. I've also taken this and put it, I put it on one of my jar box uh, lids, um, which I'm going to be selling a bunch of my jars and jar boxes. So I thought, ooh, I could use those. I've got them all stacked and ready to put on uh, a sale site, a Facebook sale site. So. If you're near me and you need canning jars and jar boxes, uh, they're for sale. You can get a hold of me. My link to uh, any of my information to get a hold of me is down below. So if you have questions about the chalk painting, about Thrive, um, becoming a consultant in the month of November, my gosh, you should jump on board because the Black Friday sale is coming up towards the end of the month. And um, yeah, you're gonna be getting some deep discounts. All right. so. I'm going to get started on this and uh, we'll see you in a little bit. if I would do a video showing how I distress the furniture. It's super easy. I've done videos on this, but I wanted to oblige for any of the new subscribers that are watching this. Um, so sandpaper, the coarser the sandpaper, obviously the faster it's gonna take the paint off. And you're gonna go around the edges that would be natural wear. So, and the amount of distressing is totally up to you. Now I wanna bring this down to bare wood. So I have to get past that black, black paint too. And oh yeah, I like it. You're still gonna see a black edge, which will look good with the furniture that's in my room already. And in some areas, I'm gonna go all the way down. So you can use a, a, you know, a paper towel to kind of see how far you're going. And See, okay, now we have some black, but I'm gonna go a little bit further and get through that down to wood. Oh yeah, I like that. I've even so seen people you. take a power sander and sand that way. I'm not, I don't really want that look. I think that's what they did on my hutch because it's deep into the wood grain. Okay, so here's the finished little chest of drawers. 
and I think it came out darling and it goes just fine with that furniture as well so I love it I really love it and that you know I had from the other house remember it was black I painted the inside of the drawers everything is nice distressed it and you can see the distressed detail it shows some of the black up which you know goes with the I left the hardware the same and then here's my mirror that I got for ten dollars and that um, I did antiquing around here because sanding it um, exposed some pink and I don't want pink so there you go that's the end result and I'm gonna go ahead and unpack some stuff and get that loaded up so guys I hope this inspires you to take a piece of furniture that maybe doesn't fit in with anything else you have and see what you can do. I mean, I feel like this fits in perfectly with my um, farmhouse distressed bedroom set. And I've got two pieces that aren't the same, but um, I love them both. And I really like having a mirror here. Um, the dresser that I have is a really tall dresser. It's like my height. So there's no way to have a mirror for me to see. Um, but I like having a mirror in the bedroom, even though I've got mirrors on the vanity. Um, I, I needed something so if I need to check the back of my hair or something like that so I love this I'm anxious I've got a whole box full of stuff that needs to go in here and I'll get some more unpacking done so guys if you want to see some more organizing and um, what I'm doing to downsize what I have let me know in the description box below I'll be happy to share all right guys I can't wait to see you for the next delicious recipe I've got some holiday stuff coming up. So if you want to see some of that, let me know. It's going to be holidays for one or two people. Even though I will be having a big holiday meal, I want to make sure that those of you that aren't going to have a huge holiday meal have plenty of recipes to reference from. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.